Hey Tim, how you doing? Real good, Eric. How are you today? Doing fine, thanks. Uh, Tim Hodson from GPN Magazine. Uh, Tim, you had a question for me about LEDs. Yeah. Um, LEDs are just making their way into the U.S. People know how to spell LED, but how are they using them in the greenhouse? What What are the benefits growers can expect, and what What's it take to implement the technology? Well, LEDs are uh, still in their infancy stage, at least with respect to greenhouse production. Uh, they've been around for decades, but only recently have efficiencies come to the point where we're beginning to look at them and application in a greenhouse. Uh, we have a ways to go yet. They have a lot of advantages in terms of their energy efficiency, in terms of being able to, to provide a desirable light spectrum, to elicit a certain morphological response or certain shape or architecture of the plant. Um, there are also some concerns and some questions that we have. Um, how, can we, how can we take advantage of the ability to fine tune the lighting? And frankly, the biggest limitation now is economics. Uh, efficiencies are going up, prices are coming down, but I think unless you're in a certain niche situation, they're really not uh, a cost-effective alternative at this point. But I think in the next couple years, we're going to see that change. Are, is the government in the U.S. offering any kind of uh, subsidies to help growers invest in these things? Or is that still a ways out there? Well, not that I know of. And there are always exceptions, and sometimes there are state programs that are not federally funded. Sure. Uh, there are research opportunities, and we're embarking on a project uh, with Purdue, uh, Rutgers, and University of Arizona, along with our partner Orbitech, uh, to learn more about application of LEDs. But from a, a grower standpoint, I'm not aware of any subsidies for them. We'll keep our eyes out for them. That's right.